Konnichiwa. Today's daily devotional is for Thursday, February the 6th, 2020, and it's called Stop the Violence, but do not submit to silence. All right, let's start with Matthew 15, 10 through 11. And he called the people to him and said to them, hear and understand. It is not what goes into the mouth that defiles a person, but what comes out of the mouth, this defiles a person. Okay, I raised my kids in Jamaica, Queens, so we all grew up there, all right? Because I was quite childish back then, all right? I grew up since then, all right? Um, anywho, they were six and seven, and I was 32 going on 18 when we moved to that borough of New York City. All right, so um, I was a newly uh, singly divorced mom, and so I had to go hard body, son, you know? Like my son used to say, hard body, son, all right? And um, as a matter of fact, I used to always tell people, I may look like a Beverly Hills chihuahua, but I'm really a pit bull in a skirt when you provoke me, all right? And you'll mess around and get your feelings hurt, okay? You don't wanna go there, all right? Um, anywho, as a matter of fact, they used to think um, because I look soft, I they could poke me in the belly like that little cute little fat uh, Pillsbury Doughboy, you know? But you couldn't do that, okay? Because there was a time when I was 19 years old that I beat a girl up in front of the base chapel, Moody Air Force Base, Georgia, because she cursed my mother out. And I, I lost it, okay? So I went from zero to 100 real quick. All right, Drake wrote that song about me, okay? All right, so also I was, um, there were plenty of times when my back in New York, when we got here, where I had to um, pop off. When I'm leaving Wall Street, you know, looking all super sweet and dressed all neat, tongue so sweet, and have to, when I get back to the hood, Jamaica, Queens, I have to be like, yo, what's good? Because somebody provoked me, I, you know, I, I had to, getting that attitude okay so there was this one time that um, we went to that wendy's on jamaica ave everybody knows that popular wendy's and um there was a long line and my daughter was waiting in line to get food and this indian man cut in front of my daughter and he didn't know i was you know with her and i was dressed to the nines coming from work sharp when he cut in front of my daughter who was very shy i'm scared to tell him I just snapped and I cursed that man out from A to Z and told him how rude he was. All right, by the time I got done reading that man, okay, everybody in that restaurant was laughing except my daughter. She was very embarrassed, okay? So then I turned my anger on her and said, you need to toughen up and learn to be like me and speak up and not let people walk all over you, okay? In this case, walk in front of her. Okay, we ended up eating our meal in silence. That's how angry we, I was and embarrassed she was. Okay, Elmo, enough, let's move on. That brings me to Ephesians 4.29. Let no corrupting talk come out of your mouths, but only such as is good for building up, as fits the occasion, that it may give grace to those who hear. Okay. So in 2018, I moved on up to the east side to a deluxe apartment in the sky, okay? The east side of Harlem, all right? And I left south side Jamaica, Queens behind. But I didn't leave that uh, pit bull in a skirt behind. I couldn't, just couldn't bear to leave her up behind. So I just got me a high-end skirt, mm, okay? All right, you'll see where I'm going there. So um, this past Saturday, the day of the Super Bowl, I went into that Burlington Coat Factory on 125, all right? 125th Street for people that don't know in New York, okay? And I was in that long line, all right? And uh, it was a nice, you know, wait. And I was sitting there and I saw this cute little um, Mexican girl. She was probably about eight or nine and she was playing on the floor with some toys and her mom was right in front of me. And I was just looking at her, admiring her because she was so cute, she had her hair really nice. And all of a sudden, this elderly um, white lady came up with her friend in a scooter. So she says to her friend, just look at her. Look how fat she is. I don't know what's wrong with these parents these days. They just feed them anything. They don't care how their kids look. And she just said a bunch of nasty things. And the little girl heard her. And she went from happy to sad. And I went from happy to mad because I got so enraged. And I just started 
like rocking back and forth like I do when I'm getting ready to swing on somebody. And I said, you need to shut your mouth. I said, who do you think you are talking about people's kids like that? I said, I don't like that. I said, it's bad enough these kids have to worry about bullies in school talking about them. But they, she has to, this will go out to hear a grown old woman like you saying it to her. I said, that's why kids are killing themselves these days, committing suicide. I said, I don't like that. And she told me, you need to shut your mouth. She said, you need to mind your own business because you're the reason why kids turn into criminals. Look how you're acting. I said, let me tell you something. I will never shut my mouth when it comes to the kids. I'm always going to stand up for the kids. I said, I don't play that. Okay. I said, you don't tell me what to do. I said, you better leave her alone. Okay. I was really angry. I had tears in my eyes. Okay. A few minutes later, the security guard, a black guy came around the corner. He's looking at me, he's laughing and smiling. He's like, what's going on? And I told him what she did. You know, I said, she's disrespecting this little girl, you know? And, um, he said, miss, you need, he told the lady, he said, you need to, um, shut your mouth or I'm going to remove you from the store. And I just want you guys to know when I was done reading her, I didn't even say one curse word. I didn't curse her out and I didn't call her any derogatory names, okay? But everybody in that line was clapping and applauding me and thanking me for doing that. And I told them, I said, you guys, I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to be so loud. They said, no, thank you. Because she was wrong. And you're right, kids are committing suicide, you know, because of this. She should be ashamed of herself. And I have to tell you, the little girl was looking at me smiling and I told her she was cute, you know, once I calmed down. But her mom... I really don't think she spoke or understood English very well because she was oblivious to everything that was going on. But I understood English and I translated for her that day. And I was proud to do that for that queen, okay? All right, so, um, and the, even the cashiers were happy I did it too. When I got to the register, the lady told me, she was like, that was, I'm glad you did that, you know? And um, so after I left the store, I immediately called my sister Linda and I told her what had happened. And she said, Stephanie, I love that. She said, I'm so happy you did that. I'm so proud of you. And um, so did my daughter because they love the fighter in me. They know that fighter, but they love the new one better. And that's more, and, and, and that's, that's, that's touched me. You know, I, I was happy to get that feedback from them. But what's more endearing to me is that now my daughter tells me that she wishes she could be more like me and speak up because I do it purposefully. Oh, that's so cute. That's so cute. All right, so power thought. Ladies wear high-end skirts that won't show off all their ugly parts. And guys wear high-end ties that they can adjust before anger erupts. Love you guys. Have a great day. Mwah.